So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. It's men, like Mr. Bronte, like Mr. Cornwall, that ruined the West, that ruined everything. So, there's no folk like that in Tahiti? There's folks like that everywhere. But in Tahiti, to my understanding, folks feed them to sharks rather than make them kings. <laughs> <laughs> that would be paradise. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <clears throat> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. 